even like a slug type hero would have been a bit too greedy with brood. Mm. Brood's always going to farm a lot and just not die. dust yeah. everything. Just oh, this is catastrophic. And I think he's going to kill the witch doctor. Seal kid, the seal cub clubbing first club blood. is real. First blood's drawn as Cheshire Cat makes it happen. Spawn. All right. Mother will. Uh, uh oh, but on the other side, Seal Kid and Handskin perhaps in some trouble here. The cask bouncing around, doing some work. J4 getting charged, but there's your stampede. All heal from Chen to pick up NIP. In comes the Space Cow, not even going to need it. Now switches to QW. The ult from Quap doing a lot of damage here. Actually gets the kill uh, onto the cow, and now they find the kill on the Shadow Feed. It's a one for three, make it a four for one. Oh my gosh. CM did get the deny to Roshan, but NIP. Stage once they group up and get that five man going. Dichir has also not played a very good game with a centaur, and like I mean, normally he's like the the standout player of this team, and he's made a few bad calls of when to initiate, how to use his mana, and paid the price a few times. Oh my, Seneko just blown up by the Chen Hanskin doing so much damage. Radiant's courier also getting picked off with a decent bit of gold on it. That's a Midas recipe. Oh my god, that is one of the quickly on the brood. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like the centaur has been. One of the, the weaker aspects of this PR draft, just in terms of his general initiations. Cheshire Cat up top, going to find himself in a rough situation here. Gets knocked to the low ground, but will be dusted. In comes the Quap Death Lord from the high ground. It's another kill going the way of Team Nip. Now in the bottom, they will get aggressive onto Seneko. Era doing some damage, laying in the Frost Arrows. Ditya hops forward, pump fakes the stun. Still alive for now, stun on two. Out comes the Freezing Field. They get the kill onto Handskin. Now they find it onto the Drow as well. Nice turnaround. The CM lives with just a handful of hit points. Beautiful setup to make that one happen. But now the charge, Ditya He's got a stampede. Does he burn it here? Trying to time the hoofstock. Can't get it. And Jonas playing the cleanup. Now back to the lane. Shadow Fiend squaring up against Seal Kid. And he's not going to like the way this one ends up. Or will he? Gets the kill there. Now squaring off against Ape Mother. He will have a screen in just one second here. QW almost gets it with the last raise. Very he low on HP. He could, he could get charged or ulti too. Oh, he's got the negative earn on now. Quap wants to make it happen. QW pump faking a little bit, trying to anticipate the blink. Oops. Almost gets it, but Jonas gets the unstoppable streak as he brings him down. Nice play by Shadow Fiend there. Ooh, Era might need to be a little bit careful here. He'll be all right for now. Meanwhile, in the dire jungle, Handskin initiated on. They'll go ahead and use the stampede. QW with the double damage blocked out by his own team's Fissure. But it doesn't matter. Still find the kill as the centaur rotates over. The hammer gets dropped, and whoa, more initiation. Seal Kid running in. Quite brave he is. And that bravery will cost him everything and anything. Era, now low on mana, compliments of these Necronomicon units. Stand in his ground as best he can. Does have the Aegis of the Immortal still. He's not careful. Jonas comes charging on in. Around the backside, Aegis goes down. Sonic Wave flies through. Uh-oh, QW off to the side, Ooh. that's a one-shot KO onto the Drow Ranger, oh boy, this Shadow Fiend, he knows his limits here, Parker, he's going to pick up a triple kill. But they're going to start things off with a challenge. And charge in onto QW, he'll start in the front lines and around the backside, Seneko is going to be the one initiated on QW, it's going to be alright for now, looks like he blinked out. And who's actually going to be initiated on first? It's going to be Seal Kid. He survives. Quap with a decent ulti will bring down QW out of the gate. They'll have to trade their Chen for it, though. Death Ward channel for pretty close to full duration. Huge damage coming out as it's a one for three. NIP taking the fight as Ditya Ra gets locked down as well. I think that was all the Witch Doctor there for the most part. It was a great Sonic Wave, but Seal This is Radiant Vision we're looking at. They see Roche at about half health. They need a stall with these spiderlings. Like, greatest distraction. They've, they've done that. I mean, they're going to make it here in time. There you go. QO, BKB channels the Requiem from afar. Roche still alive for now. The all heal from Chen isn't going to be enough. Cheshire Cat trying to focus down Handskin off to the side. He'll be successful on that front. Era uses his BKB as he tries to make the escape. Witch Doctor gets locked down, and it looks to be successful for PR. The Shadow Fiend falls. But the closing Requiem will help with some extra damage. Now the charge up to the high ground to try and deal with Seneko. It'll be safe for now. They have to pay with their Earth Shaker. And ooh, not going to have the vision to bring down Jonas. Game winning gust. That, well, not game winning, but a huge gust from Arrow. Who is going to die at the bottom tier 2 tower now with the Brood, unfortunately. But he's. Well, Brood is actually going to cause even more problems here. The gust, the dust comes out, and Spirit Breaker will win that man. Micro. Oh, no.
And Jonas, one more right click. It's enough. Go. That nope. CM blinked to the high ground and was using the freezing field. Was looking to use a freezing field from the high ground, but the who does have this butterfly. He's looking to flank here, but no money for a buyback. This is risky time for PR. Yeah, no, he does have uh, BKB cheese though, so still feeling pretty safe. Jonas thinking about charging on in, just channels the Nether Strike early on the QW. Requiem will get channeled. J4 comes in. Big dunk. Big fissure. They get a quick kill on the draw. All heal comes out, but Seal Kid will fall to the right clicks of QW. A lot of damage comes out in return onto the Radiant side, but PR is still going to take this fight, it looks like. Three for three. Make it a three for four. Ultra kill for QW. Even though it's a three for four trade, Shadow Fiend to save it to either interrupt that first Requiem channel or just yeah. to lock him down like while he's in that BKB and you like that that is valuable lockdown that you can't afford to just kind of throw away as an opener when you have all this other damage. The other big thing is Jonas not having a BKB. If he has a BKB there, he doesn't get frostbitten into Requiem mm -hmm. and maybe it's a play you oh, can make. Seal Kid walks right into the danger zone. Sonic Wave will clear out some spiders but doesn't do any damage outside of that. Q or QW trying to channel the Requiem will get interrupted this go around but still has the cooldown available. They're gonna press forward. They now find the kill on 8-Mother. He'll buy back straight away, but it won't be enough to save Handskin. Seal Kid channeling the ultimate from, well, close range. Ditya Ra walks up, gives him the hoof stomp. That'll stop him dead in his tracks. Freezing Field now doing so much damage. It's the kill on the Spirit Breaker and NIP all of a sudden on the back foot, getting dove to the tier fours. Blink forward from Seneko. Era caught inside of the stun, and now he'll be brought down. Oh, no. No buyback available for him. Quap's the only one that is bought back. No, that was actually a dieback on the Witch Doctor as well. Yeah. Is this the GG push oh, all of a sudden? This is it. The Sonic Wave's going to come out, but they're going to lose 8, mother! Oh, that's a dieback. Seneko with those fast fingers on the blink. GG is called. It was such an even game until then, that all of a sudden, NIP just get caught a little bit unaware, not quite ready for it. And the whole game just implodes like that. One takeoff turns into a couple more. Witch Doctor got the Ag Scepter, but... PR just dealt with that Witch Doctor so well every oh, fight. We didn't see a good death board really. There was that used. one at the tier one in the bottom lane where yeah. he got the, he, they initiated on him, he barely survived and had like a full duration death ward the entire fight. That was the one time.